Hello, I'm Frederick, and this is a golfer's walk. Today, I'm gonna do a challenge from Dave at Four to Four Golf. I'm gonna link his uh, channel down below. Definitely check him out. Give him a subscribe. Let him know I did the challenge. And uh, Dave, thank you very much. So the challenge for today is the elimination challenge. I believe it is called. Uh, it's where you can use every club in your bag only once except for the putter. The putter you can use as much as you want, but only on the green. So the idea is to try and play five holes, hopefully complete them, and see how low your score can be. Now, today I'm playing here at Media Heights Golf Club, and I'm going to play a par five as my first hole. I'm gonna play a par four, uh, and then I'm gonna play a drop hole, par three. It's pretty well known here and then two more par fours. So uh, on this hole, I can definitely get home in two. So I'm gonna hit driver, try and hopefully get on in two and use one less club in the process, hopefully. Well, hit it a little bit high on the club face, but it's in play, and uh, that's always a good thing. All right, probably should have said it, but it's a 510 yard par five. Um, I have 227 left, which is not too surprising since I kind of popped it up a little bit. It's a little downwind, so I still carried some, but um, so, but it is the perfect distance for my hybrid. So I'm going to use my hybrid here, and. Um, while it is a club I could definitely use on one of those two par fours coming up, I I, I got to use it here. I got I need I need to hit the green here. Get this thing started off right. My goal is to shoot one under. See if I can shoot under par with a limited number of clubs. Okay, so that came up quite a bit short. I'm, I'm not sure what happened there. The breeze is up a little bit. I don't know if it just knocked it down. Or... Oh, I expected it to be right there. I thought it was so good. Now I'm left with like a long bunker shot, like that 40 yard bunker shot. All right, there it is. Looks like it just hit the lip and roll back down. And that's what I got left. So. Can use 56 for the bunker shot. Ah, it's not very good. A little too preoccupied by some kids that are out here walking up to my cart. Say hi to the vlog. Hello. Hi, vlog. <laughs> Not really sure what they're doing out here, but they were standing over here by my cart. And... <sighs> it's all right. So, made par on the first, used my driver, my hybrid and the uh, 56 degree. So, all right, on to the second hole. All right, so this hole is a par four up the hill. It's a little under 400 yards. So I'm gonna use my three wood on this hole.
So it's up the left side, which is right where I'm aiming. There's out of bounds along the right, and it's a road, so and there's room on the left to go into the green. So I usually aim up the left and try and cut it in. Went straight, it's in the rough, but it's a good shot. All right, well, I'm up here about where I thought I was, just in the rough, a little bit farther back than normal, because usually I'll hit a driver on this hole, but I have about 174 into the wind. It's a little bit downhill, but uh, given what I have in my bag, I think I'm gonna hit my five iron and just take a little bit off of it. Hopefully you can keep it on the green. Actually, I'm gonna hit six. This is just too much, and I think I'd rather have this for an off the tee club. Just gonna try and hit a little bit of a draw in there to get it to run downhill. Right. Oh, that looks really good. I actually hit that one really, really good. Hopefully, got a good bounce. Yes. Yeah, it's one of those that's a little bit unexpected in this kind of thing. I actually played the front nine, shooting another video and trying to warm up. <clears throat> Monday, clubs closed, which means no range balls. For an old man like me, it's pretty hard to just go out and start swinging it, and it showed in the first few holes. But, got a birdie here which uh, really helps. So let's get on to the next one, which is a uh, my little drop hole par three. Well, after that birdie, we're one under, coming to this drop hole. It's a very short hole, but very difficult. Usually very windy. Right now the wind is coming from the right and into me. And the problem is you're only hitting a wedge, but part of it is just controlling the spin. So hitting the green is one thing, but keeping it on the green is something else completely. All right, so we have about 127. Gonna hit a little wedge, kind of soft, try not to spin it too much. That way, hopefully it just hits and sticks. Oh boy, is that bad. Is it on the green? Well, it's on the green. It's a dead pull, probably 30 feet left of the pin, but it's on the green. Oh, look at that. Just drove by some, just drove by some deer on the way down the hill there. We have a lot of deer out. Oh, sounds like a bullfrog too. Well, this would be great to make this. To be honest, it's a pretty hard putt. Two putts would be good. Let's see if we can get to two under through the first three. Well, we had a chance there for a minute. Par is never a bad score on this hole, but it um, feels weird with only a wedge in your hand. But anyways, through three, one under. Now it's where it gets interesting. Starting to run out of clubs. I don't know if you can see him. Hey bud, 
three of them just ran up in there across the hole. Where are you going? All right, so this hole is a little bit weird. It's only 327, it's uphill, but it's a snap dog leg left. You can't really go at the green or anything. You kind of have to get it to the corner, but you have to be kind of precise on that because otherwise, if you're not out far enough, then you don't have a shot in. If you go too far, you're either in a bunker or in the trees. So um, the farther to the right you are, the more forgiving it is as far as being able on your second shot. If you didn't quite make it to the corner, at least you can hit a draw. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I have about 220 to the corner, which for me with my three iron is right on the edge. Uh, if it was a little bit firmer, it wouldn't be an issue. So I'm gonna try and hit a pretty good draw and hopefully it runs and gets up there far enough for my next shot. Well, it's up the right side, kind of cut it. It's probably just this side of the tree. It's a longer way, but at least it's a shot. All right, so I found it. It is a little bit more to the right than the trees than I thought, but I do have a shot, a little longer shot. It's 153 yards, um, lies a little thick. It's way, it's actually very, very much uphill here. So, I'm not sure if eight's quite right, and I could probably use that better on the next hole, maybe. All right, so I got to work this out here. Um, the next hole, the last hole, is 370, but it is downwind, downhill. I have my five iron left. If I hit my five iron. 190 leaves me 140 leaves me 98. So that's, I'm probably going to hit 5 iron and then a wedge or a 9 iron on the next hole, depending upon the roll. So I'm going to go ahead and hit 7. Um, it's just, you can't come up short. It's a false front, so it'd be hard for me to go over with 7, so that's what I'm going to do. Really good. Get down. I'm not sure it needed to get down. Wind kind of knocked a little bit, but boy, I hit that one actually really good. Might actually have a good putt for another birdie. Wow. I'm not sure I had this many birdie putts the whole front nine. That turned out really good. I haven't hit a shot that good on this hole in quite a while. Green is super severely sloped. That looks like a hit right there and just released a little bit. But the green is really sloped that way. And up front, basically right here, is a false front and everything slopes so far off the front. So it's just kind of hard to control the ball. Alright. Well, let's see if we can't make one more birdie get to two under. Whoa, this is crazy. That was weird. Just kind of went opposite direction I thought it would, but. All right. One under through four, come in the last hole. All right, so this last hole, about 370, straight away, goes out about 210, 220, and then it really is a very severe drop off. It's not too bad if you get there, because it's only a little wedge anyways into the hole, so. Uh, 
right now with what I have left, I have a five iron. So that's what I'm going to hit. Hopefully that gets me down there far enough where I can still hit a wedge or a nine iron into the green. Hit it really well, but it's five iron. <laughs> you usually hit four or a hybrid, so. Be in good shape, we have enough clubs. I don't think it's gonna be an issue for the shot in the green. We're in good shape. A little bit shorter where I normally am, but certainly no issue here. See, this is a beautiful hole. It's a drop hole down to that green. Wow, 170. I don't hit 8 iron 170. I usually hit 8 iron 150 ish. It is a little downhill downwind, so I think I'm just going to try and pretty, hit it pretty hard. And hopefully it gets there. If it doesn't quite get there, then I, I have to chip up. The problem is, is at the very front of the green, the first five pacers or so is basically a false front. and. The way I'm going to be hitting it as hard as I am, it's going to be real easy to spin it back off the green. So, play it maybe a little bit more towards the right side because the right side of the green kind of kicks towards the pin and towards the back of the green and to the left. So, that might help get it back there. Just missed the green. I hit on the fringe and just kind of into the longer rough there between the fringe and the bunker. So as long as the lie is fine, actually a pretty good chip shot here coming straight uphill. So it'd be a good one to maybe try and chip in, get to two under. All right, you can see the lie there. It's in the longer grass, but it's actually sitting up very nicely. So clubs I have left, I can use either my 52 or my 60. I think I'm going to use my 60 because there's a little ridge I got to carry it over. So I'm going to hit 60 and kind of hit it a little low and let it run up. And hopefully, win the hole for a bird. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Managed to shoot one under for five holes. Used all my clubs except my 52 degree, I believe. Um, so thanks again to Dave with 4 to 4 Golf. So I guess it's up to me to challenge someone else. So I'm going to try and see if we can ratchet it up a level. And I'm going to challenge Andrew Jensen. Andrew, I know you're going to beat me, but we'd all love to see how you attack a golf course and some holes doing the, uh, the 14 club challenge. So until next time, enjoy the walk.